So what method do you use to seek out the truth if God exists or not? My own gut feelings. Gut feelings. <laughs> My own gut feelings. Sebagai penggemar sejarah, pria ateis ini mengaku lebih menyukai sains sebagai panduan hidup dibandingkan dengan agama. Baginya, sains itu lebih meyakinkan. I don't believe in Islam. And I don't believe in God. So I, I look through history to try and... Uh, like, uh, within, within history, there is surely, surely an absolute truth, but one can only ever climb closer and closer towards it, with evidence, convinced by theory of evolution. Because the, 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 the passage over billions of years from organic matter that has come from all across the universe to come here and then and then proceed onwards into life as we know today. Lawan diskusinya seorang muslim bernama Hamza lantas memintanya memaparkan metodologi yang ia gunakan untuk membuktikan apakah Tuhan ada atau tidak. I, I believe, I believe basically in, in the power of, of, of matter. So what method do you use to seek out the truth if God exists or not? Namun alih-alih memberi jawaban ilmiah, pria itu malah mengaku hanya menggunakan dalurinya untuk membuktikan bahwa Tuhan tidak ada. My own gut feelings, man. Gut feelings. <laughs> My own gut feelings. And... One second, one second. As an atheist, <laughs> well, as an atheist, you hold the position God doesn't exist because you feel it. No. Yes, so, you just so, said so, that. So, so, like, the, the things would that, you the like things, to say that back? Yes, I would like to say You'd that You'd like to say that back? Like, yeah, okay. Okay. Mengetahui ia adalah penggemar sejarah, Hamza pun mengajaknya untuk menganalisa kebenaran Islam dari sudut pandang sejarah dan psikologi. I'm going to make it easy for you. I was an atheist just like you. Why do I believe Islam is true? Okay. 1400 years ago, do you believe according to what you've understood in history that a man called Muhammad, he's supposed to be upon him, existed in 6th century Arabia? Yeah, definitely. Do you also believe that this man called Muhammad peace be upon him, made a claim in the same period that an angel came and spoke to him in the cave of Hera in Makkah. Uh, I don't know the full history of it, but I do believe I do believe he made a claim. Historical fact, made a claim. So give me two explanations from an atheistic viewpoint could explain this phenomena of him believing an angel spoke to him in a cave. I'll make it easy for you. He could have lied. There was no angel, because atheist perspective, angels don't exist. So if you've got a man claiming an angel spoke to him, the first thing you're going to say, he's crazy. Second option, angels don't exist, so he's lying. If he's saying an angel spoke to him, angels don't exist. Therefore, he's lying. So he must be, for some reason, pretending an angel spoke to him. The Christian claim, which is the most pathetic claim, yeah, it was a demon that tricked him convinced him he was speaking to an angel but in fact it was really the devil mm. and what he thought he was receiving from god he was receiving from the devil mm. christians don't realize they're saying this this man now is a good man an honest man a man of integrity they don't like to admit that because mm. if you're being tricked and deceived you're a victim yeah yeah so this could be an, an explanation from a christian perspective or he's telling the truth yeah. so either he's crazy thinking angel speaking to him either he's lying claiming angel spoke to him Either he's deceived into thinking angels talk to him, or an angel talk to him. You just have to tell me which one it is. Because one of them has to be true. I think it could be both be crazy and lying. Because Can't be crazy and lying. Which one? It could be either crazy you, or lying. Crazy. Okay. Give me one mental illness that would result in the symptoms of what he experienced. Uh, hearing voices. Alex, I'll, I'll give you three symptoms of schizophrenia. Hearing voices. Social recluse, paranoia. Okay, so if this man is suffering from schizophrenia, so hearing voices, check. Yeah. Paranoia, we should see evidence of his paranoia. We should also see uh, a social recluse. Is that what we see? He was a leader. He was a leader, charismatic leader. Yeah. yeah, the last thing he was was a social recluse. Yeah, this was the man who went down and told the people to stop doing the things they were doing, yeah, and to follow him, which turned the whole town on its head. The other thing you need to throw into the equation, anyone suffering from mental illness, which doesn't receive treatment, will deteriorate. I had a psychiatrist come onto my live stream, 
and do a three hour presentation on why the process and wasn't crazy, showing videos of schizophrenics, demonstrating that this man, Mohammed peace be upon him, from what he achieved in his lifetime to become the most influential man has ever existed according to Michael H. Hart, could never have been suffering from schizophrenia. So we can cross that out.